Well, I think it's intentional in the sense that it's both of our taste. I mean, we prefer to watch cinema that operates that way or television that operates that way because when you're receiving a narrative that's built that way, it feels like it's giving you an awful lot of credit. Um, and it's also, it's disconcerting to not be led. And I think, you know, if you're making a genre show that's meant to be about anxiety and meant to be about uh, people sort of um, feeling like they don't know what is going to happen next, why not do that on a cellular level with characters? You know, you don't know what the next thing you're going to find out about someone is and how that's going to change your assessment of them or their assessment of themselves. And even in the way the show's scored and the way the show's designed, we wanted to embrace a kind of naturalistic storytelling in a sort of slightly operatic kind of shape. We saw this as we were doing a 10 hour cinematic novel. And so the luxury that we had is we didn't have to do the binaries of villains and heroes. Because you're not gonna wanna watch the same villain for 10 hours or the same hero. And these are real, these are, these are people who, are, who actually did live a few hundred years ago. So there's also a sense of responsibility that we all had. You know, Francis Crozier, we have his letters. We, when, when you read about who these people really were, you don't feel like you want to paint them in broad strokes. You feel like you want to get the details because we fell in love with the characters. Yeah.